we still in <coughs> sequences and series only getting started, we've only done arithmetic and we've only done the general term. So in this one, the first question was, find the next two terms. So if you have done what I've already done, it makes more sense. But if you only saw the 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, it looks chaotic. It doesn't look like a pattern because it's not one pattern. It's a combination of two. So you take your highlight pen and you highlight every second one with green or whatever the case may be so you can better see that there are two. So in the first one, we've got 1, 3, 5, 7. So what's going to be the next two? Nine. Nine. And I forgot that by the previous one. To write the next two terms down and that's the easiest two marks of them all. And then with the green one it was one, two, three, four, so it would have been five. Easy two marks which I lost in my previous sum because I never wrote it down. Now finding term 20 and term 21. The 20th term would be an even term, right? And the even ones are the green ones. So for the term 20, it's going to be the green one, which was 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now we're going to work very hard to find term number 20. No. What is term 20? Without writing anything else. Yes, because it was so easy. You don't have to write anything. If you wanted to, you could. You could go say that A is 1 and D is 1. And substitute it into term but now what would it then be now also there is a mistake here I don't want term 20 in the green one I want term 20 in the complete one that means that term 20 in the green one is actually term of that one and that means term 10 would be 10 are you with me here guys because first of all, you have to find out that term 20 is in the green one, which are the even ones. But then term 20 of the complete combination one is then term 10 of the green one, which would mean that that is 10. Happy on that. For term 21 of the black one, that would be 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. The trick is now, which term is that going to be? Of this black one. So for term 21, it's going to be term what of that one? So is it now 11? Or is it 10? Think about it. 11, can we agree on it? Because it's something that we've got to grasp into. If it's the 21st one, it would mean that the first one is in the first place. The second one is in three. The third one is in fifth. The fourth one is in seven. Are you kidding this? Fourth one is seven. So it's not half of it. It's a little bit more than half of it. I'm explaining it very simple, very silly. It's more than half of it. So this was the first, third, fifth, seventh one. But the seventh one is actually the word one, two, three, fourth one. The seventh one is actually the fourth one. So the 21st one should actually be the 11th one. Now guys, if you make that mistake, because it's something that you just have to kind of like instinctively get. If you make a mistake, what would have been your mistake? You would have maybe said 10. And then all the marks are gone. No, because that's one of the marks. Knowing that it's going to be the 11th one is one of the marks. You write the 10th one, you're not using the marks. Which marks? Say that A is 1 and D is 2 plus 2. And in all of the sums, you get a mark for that. For this one, there wasn't marks because it was such a nice logical deduction. So for term 11 here, we're going for the fact that my formula must then be A plus... 10 D. And then I've got to go find that out by using A is 1 and D is 2. Now, if we want to get technical, you should actually say, ma'am, you should have first written N, okay, then the formula A plus N minus 1 D, but I want you to get into the habit of writing that very quickly. And the answer is 21. Happy on that?
happy on that. Finished. Now we get to sequences. Series. Not sequences, series. Technical guys, what's the difference between a sequence and a series? A sequence has semicolons in between, a series has pluses and minuses, and we'll still see them sometimes having a plus and a minus in between, doesn't matter. Then it's technically a series. But if I speak about a sequence and it's a series or the other way around, forgive me and I'll forgive you because the sum has to be done. But what it then entails is we are going to do the sum of. We're going to get the sum of all these terms. And this is what what, what is to stand for. For the sum of. So S in means the sum of N terms. Which we haven't done before with linear or with quadratic. Right? There are no formulas for them. For um, quadratic. Then something different. Do you know what N is? Do you know what A is? Do you know what D is? But something different is? L. No. L. And what do you guess L is? Last two. The last term. So there is a formula, an alternative, a choice. You can use either one of the two. And remember you have your formula sheet up handy. Make sure you see where it is. Make sure you've got it handy that you can go and look at it. So in those two formulas, you've got a choice. You can use any which one of the two to find the sum of how many ever terms it might be. This one, obviously, then, is when you have the last term, you can use it. But most of the time, you have a choice between the two. And with whichever one you use is fine. You might take 50 seconds or 13 seconds longer for the one than the other one, and it doesn't matter. Both are alternatives that can be used. So... For this example that I want to give you, and then I'll throw you in the deep end already because you've just been taught about the term formula. I'm saying, there is my series. Find me the sum of the terms of this series. So how many terms are there? Because now obviously I want to say that the number of terms are 33 or 55 or how many ever. So I need to know how many terms there are. Do I know how many terms there are? Can I find out how many terms there are? How? Find out which one is equal to? 101. That's my question that I have to realize. I want to know which term is equal to 101. Knowing that, and guys, please remember in all of these, you're going to be working with formulas, 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 formulas. So with this particular one, now I'm going to go for the formula of? TN, but I'm trying to show you SN. Please just wait, we'll get there just now. But you've got to get the right one at the right place. But for all of them, you first have to find out whether it's arithmetic or we're still going to be doing it geometric. So first check it out. This is definitely arithmetic because it's a constant difference of 3. And my A is 20. So in my, what formula? So T and I don't know what it is, so what's the formula? A plus N minus N B. Because you don't know what N is. You're trying to find out what N is. <laughs> so your A value is 20. Your D value is 3 equal to 101. Hence, I'm solving for N. How many ways to do skin this cat? A lot. So the next mark that you're going to be getting is for knowing what n is. Whether you time out, whether you like my technique that I just somehow have an inkling for, I'll take the 20 across and I'll do minus 20, which gives me 81. Is everybody with me? Yes. Then I'll divide it by 3, which is going to give me 27. Am I right? Yes. Then I'm going to say plus with 1 and I'm going to get 20. Eight. And the person who decided, no, I don't want to do that. I want to time out 3n minus 3, add the numbers together, take them to the other side, eventually divide by the 3 to get to n alone, you also get there. So <clears throat> the marks would be for knowing that it's tn and that it's the a and the d that you're going to put in there. And do you see this? It's a good way of doing it, always writing the a and the d or the s or the whatever in there. So we're writing, so it's for the formula. For the substitution of A and D. But then, well, for the, for the substitution of A and D. And then the answer. 
your technique in the middle, seven steps, two steps, I don't care. But now we've just found out that there are 28 terms. So I'm actually looking for the sum of 28 terms. Now which formula would you like to use? Any which one of them, I'm going to do both, but just for now. Okay, you're never going to do both. You make a choice. Actually, you've got the last one, so I would think that's a little bit shorter than that one. But we're going to do both of them so that you can see. So it's n over 2, 2a plus, n minus 1, d. Now let's for a start write this n first. And now I'm going to substitute. Now guys, the quicker you get into it, that's fine. You don't have to write the formula. Then the substitution, you can immediately, when you write it, already substitute the n with 28. The a with 20 still. And n minus 1. 20 minus 1, which is 19. Are you seeing me again pushing you into thinking that's 28 and this is 27? No one would care about it if you wrote 28 minus 1 in a bracket. And then the bracket D is? And an answer, please. An answer? One? One, six, nine, four. Nine, four. Does it sound right? Yes, ma'am. Because remember, Bam always teaches you to look at the logic. Now, <clears throat> we're starting with 20. What, what does it mean if I say the sum of 28? What are you doing? 20 plus 23 is 40 something, plus 26 is 60 something, plus 29 is already there by the 90s. Are you with me? And I'm going 28 terms. Doesn't seem too far fetched. If I got for some reason an answer like that, you should have worried. It doesn't sound like I don't know how I did that and where I put some extra zeros in or whatever, but if I find an answer like that, it should have made me worry. Then I take my calc, I calculate and I do it again. Because with most things I tell you, always double check. Now let's see. If we did it with the shorter formula, because you had a choice here, it would have still been 28 in the place of n. A's value is 20 and L is 101. So we're using a completely different formula. And guess what? I bet you the answer will be the same. Double check it. We'll see that it is. So you had a choice here. I think the best choice, maybe by three seconds, might have been this one. But you had to go find out how many terms there are. You had no other choice. And nobody told you to. You had to find it out on your own. All right, let's see if you can handle this already on your own. Question says, 16 plus 22 plus 28, it's a sequence. It's a what sequence? Arithmetic, because I'm seeing G is equal to? 6, my A is? Without doing anything else, you think you've got a mark? Yes. Without doing anything else, you've got a mark. But now the question says, plus, 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 equals. What are they giving you here? The sum of. They're telling you that the sum of is. So Sn is equal to 1886. And I'm trying to find how many terms. So I'm going to have to use which formula? All right, a formula. But can I use the one with the L? No. Because I don't know what it is. In fact, I want to know which the last one is. It's the 20th or the 80th or the whatever term. So now I'm using my formula. And guys, it's good to know this out of your head. It happened long ago, but it shouldn't happen again because they haven't touched the formula sheets in years, which is a good thing. Because at one stage they did change it and there was a mistake. So if on the formula sheet the mistake was, what would their reaction be? Give the kids the marks. You should know the formula is wrong. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Know it off by heart so that you just double check when you're writing it down. If it happens, I'm, I'm almost telling you it won't happen. But if it happens, that you'll be able to recognize there's a mistake. Okay. So now what? N is? 
What I'm drawing is fine. A is 16. And I don't know, D is 6. And I'm trying to find how many variables here? One. How? It's up to you. Shall we simplify a little bit here in the middle? Yes, yes. Which man normally doesn't do. Can I already take away the fraction? How can I take away the fraction? Times, times, times by two on this side. What's 1886 times two, please? 3772. Okay. And then I can still add here, right? And I've got 26. Let me write it. And times with n. Can we divide by n? Why not? Because you, it's what you're looking for, except for that you never ever divide by a variable. Because it could be zero. Are you with me? Alright. So timing out. 6n squared plus 26n. Minus, why am I doing this minus and equal to zero? Because I'm seeing a quadratic equation. I'm busy with sequences and series, but inside of this sum it developed into a quadratic equation. So I need to go and find factors. First thing that you should do, without your calculator, is you should try and see if I cannot divide by six. And if it doesn't work with six, maybe if I can divide by two or by three or by something to simplify. Are you with me? How can you do this on your calculator though? Should it? No, sorry. And the mode is equations. And you go for the quadratic one, which is number three. And you punch in your A6, your B26, and you'll see negative 3772. Fantastic. I don't have to do that on my own. But the answer is what? Um, X1. 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 Say again. 23. 23 and then negative 82 over 3. Okay, full marks for this kid. Because you've got to cook it right. You've got to make them happy. Now, first of all, there is, there's got to be a, if there was a 6 that I could simplify, I have to go and do that. Can I divide the whole thing by 6? No, it doesn't work here. Can I divide by 2? Can I divide by 3? doesn't look like it. If you divide by 2, it's going to be? And this one will be? So again, 6 Again, okay. Should be. And then, they will be happy with me for going to. The brackets here should be what? N? N? Negative 23? This one's a little bit more difficult. 3n plus 82, which you should have done by saying 1 times e, and then you search and search and search and search. But guys, still then without a calculator, sitting on an island somewhere without a calculator, and you've got to do this sum. How would you do it rather than the formula? The formula will be quicker than trying to find the factors and the factors that work for this one. Because you've got options, you've got all the tools, use them well. Please use your calculator tool well. Okay, done with the sum. They ask how many terms they are. This cannot be applicable because it's negative and it's a fraction. So it's got to be. So it's the sum of 23 that was equal to 1886. You don't even have to write that. If you just said 23, you're done. But it was. That this, the sum of 23 gave you that 1886. There's your homework. I'd like you to start with that now for me.